Now here we have a summary of what we have covered. So in all this kind of chromatographic techniques, what we have, we have a stationary phase molecule, uh, which is uh, placed in the column. We have uh, a mobile phase molecule, which is here, which have to flow from this place towards this direction. We have injection port through which we inject our sample, which contains our analytes and we have a detector at the end of this column which detects uh, the presence of different uh, molecules according to their chemical properties so these are the different positions okay now if these positions we design different chromatographic techniques using different uh, different way using different uh, different kinds of uh, techniques like this okay so basic thing is like that we have to have a column and we have to have stationary phase, we have to have mobile phase, but the molecules, the property of the molecules we choose for a stationary phase as a mm, or as a mobile phase will vary according to the different types of uh, chromatography. Because in the in chromatographies we distinguish a way of separating molecules, separating protein molecules according to their different properties. Sometimes we separate them according to their affinity, sometimes we separate them according to their charge sometimes we separate them according to their size and all these things uh, sometimes we separate them according to their solubility so in case of gas chromatography we normally uses uh, gases as mobile phases especially argon helium and these gases because these are these gas cannot interact with the stationary uh, phase and all these things right that's why hydrogen we can use hydrogen but hydrogen can be explosive that's why the using of hydrogen you have to have tight control and uh, we have here the stationary phase we have the capillary or packed columns so we have to have the packed columns with substrate okay in these cases and the detectors we use in all these cases are TCD which is thermal conductivity detector and also MSD which is a very new kind of detector but it is really costly we can detect with MSD all these different type of samples with MSD which is which is called this mass specific detector but this is really costly and the applicability of this gas chromatography are for the volatile organic compounds why we will uh, study it in a little bit more detail later now in case of HPLC or high pressure liquid chromatography we will discuss it in detail later we use uh, H2O or organic solvents as mobile phases and we use the same kind of packed column as uh, the, the stationary phase but the detector used in these cases are normal using visi visible spectrophotometer okay because they uh, they can re readily identify the presence uh, or they can quantify the presence of organic compounds okay and we can also use MSD because it's a multi-purpose or multi-occasional tool nowadays we usually separate organic compounds and inorganic compounds inorganic salts especially using HPLC normally amino acid sequences proteins uh, can be separated using HPLC and we also have the TLC where we can separate only the organic compounds TLC means only organic compound separation it do not uh, deal with uh, the separation of inorganic salts okay so in TLC we use the organic solvents as mobile phase so in this case only we use the organic solvents and as a stationary phase we use impregnated plate which is made up of silica so we have silicon plates okay so we have silica plates uh, it is made up it is actually made with the silica layering and uh, using this through this plate the whole system will run so there is not actually separated column for this reaction this kind of thin layer chromatography or TLC we use plates okay and we use the optical detection or UV visible detection in all these cases for detecting purposes in case of TLCs okay and we separate organic compounds especially the amino acid sequences present in a mixture of amino acids 